enough to sell my soul a good price out of sight. You might hope got talent, right? What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Jerry. It's coming at y'all with another video. And now, today's video, um, I was playing Combine. They made new time windows. I'm gonna release a new video on that, also, like showing the new time windows. But they made new time windows, so I was able to get like a game in before I started getting back to playing more. Like, I wanted to make a quick video. And while I was playing this game, I had noticed that, well, I didn't even notice. Um, my teammates told me that I was playing against Mr. Styles. I guess he won the, um, the 2k league tournament the prime tournament like two years ago in 2k16 so i was playing against him and yeah it was a competitive game for the most part but the funny thing about it though and this is honest like this is not even me trying to diss but as you see right there i got screened with no help but this is not even me trying to diss him before i even knew who this player was right and he, he, like to be honest i don't think he's really that popular anyways before i really knew who he was the dude was just left, right, cheesing, zigzagging, using screens, left, right, cheesing, left, right, cheesing. He not really, he wasn't really using any dribble moves or anything like that. Just left, right, cheesing, like it was bad. I'm like, bro, like this guy's like really not playing competitively right now. He's just left, right, cheesing. And then somebody's like, oh, that's Mr. Styles. Then when I realized who it was, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna just clip some of these clips to see how how competitive the game is. But as you guys can see, it's a low scoring game. Game was really competitive, to be honest with you. I'm not even gonna lie about that. He has the ball in his hands. They're thinking he's going for the ISO, trying to end the game. I'm not going to allow him. My teammates did a great job of helping right there. But thank God, like, right there, Styles actually made the right pass. Thank God that, um, thank God that that guy missed a jump shot, bro. Because if he hadn't missed a jump shot, game over for us. Because 0.6 seconds left, we would, and then we, if they, if they were smart enough, they would know that they have to throw an alley-oop. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to throw an alley-oop or you got to do a catch and shoot. You can't drive for a dunk. So, just the inbounder not making smart decisions. And the center, oh yeah, the center, he was just terrible. Like, he wasn't passing me the ball, which I'm the point guard. He was making a worse plays. Like, he made, he got a good dunk right there. But if you would have seen, like, oh my goodness, like, the center was making terrible plays, bro. People think that the point guards determine the game. The centers play a very big role also. If they're not playing the pick and roll properly, if they're not boxing their man out, which a lot of centers happen to do, they don't box their man out. And they wonder why they get out rebounded. That's a big problem. Like the center is just as important as the point guard. Another thing too, if the center's just sitting in the in the paint waiting for the ball, getting offensive three seconds saying, pass me the ball, that's gonna ruin everything. But you see we get the stop and as I said before the center just not getting the ball out of his hands. He gets the rebound. He was getting ready to dribble. He gets the ball stolen from him. Just another terrible play by him, bro. He I was pretty, as you can see, I was pretty annoyed by him. It was really annoying. And the point guard was just talking. Not the point guard. What the hell I'm the point guard. But the power forward was just talking shit on his mic. Like, you know, like like I guess he mistakenly left his mic on and he just had his mic like away from him. Cause he wasn't talking to any of us. Like he was talking to somebody in the background. He had his mic on and you could just hear him complaining about every single play. Like it was so annoying. Like some of these people in combine are so annoying, bro. Like when you win, it's the best thing ever. Cause it's like, damn, I'm playing with randoms and we just got that big win. But when you lose, it's so annoying, bro. It's like you're playing with randoms. All they want to do is complain, do this and that, blah, blah, blah. Like, come on, bro. But Shooting guard misses a three. We're down by two, bro. We need to stop. We don't get to stop. The game could virtually be over. Thank God. Guy takes a terrible shot. We're running on a fast break. And I'm not going to shoot that, bro. I'm getting closed out heavily. I decide to pass the ball. Pass the ball. Made the right decision instead of taking a contested shot. That dude's style was closed out really quick. I was not going to take it. I was not going to take any chances, bro. I'm going to play it smart. But as you can see in my stats, bro. When I come to the combine, bro, I don't come, I don't go there to stat pad and um, just score as much as possible. I'm playing a point guard position. I'm pushing the ball ahead. There's an open man, pass him the ball, move the ball at the right time. If there's nothing there, get the ball out of my hands. For some reason, a lot of people have a problem doing that and I don't understand. But as you see, man, at that point right there, I'm not gonna lie. These last couple of plays, I think you could, I guess you could say I was getting cooked. I wouldn't really say I was getting cooked, but he was scoring on me. But one, then again, there was no help. So it's like, 
sometimes you can't really like unless you're playing with people that are like you guys are winning and whatever you can't really be dependent on help because you're not going to get it like as you seen earlier i got screened and there was no help there like the center decided to drop back instead of hedging and you see right there they're in the paint playing no defense the, the dude just doing floaters right in front of him like i don't understand how he gets that off like all we have to do is stop him he's just scoring like i don't understand it i really don't understand it bro but we're up by two with 30 seconds left i'm making a smart play right here nothing stupid and i find an open man like i said before that virtually ends the game bro up by four i made the right pass i'm good bro that's all i care about i don't gotta score on you i don't have to do that he gets a turnover he tries to make the pass also a good pass and as y'all see that's that's a big issue you see what that center just did right there that is a big issue if if there's any centers that's watching this video if you are a center please do not try to carry the ball up the court that makes you look bad if you guys don't watch 2k tv you can even see scott o'gallagher i think that's his name he gave the tips on how to get drafted like the perfect stuff to do but as you guys can see man we're gonna clutch this game out man it was a good game shout out to styles or whatever hopefully he gets drafted and all that but if you guys are new to the channel make sure you like comment subscribe and hit that bell so you can see when i post videos man um i'm gonna be grinding on this combine for the rest of the day basically because it doesn't end until 12 man 4,000 subscribers special coming real soon man y'all stay tuned for that man but in the meantime it's your boy john ranks and i'm out